Hey guys, welcome back to my channel and today I'm going to be talking to you about toothpaste. So I haven't done a green beauty video in a while and I figured I would slowly work my way back in uh, since I've been quite busy but I'm going to do small videos talking about some products because I know a lot of you guys uh, enjoy the green beauty side of my channel a lot more. I have transitioned to more natural, more non-toxic uh, toothpaste for over actually can't remember. I want to say two years, but I'm uncertain at this point. So I just want to give you guys a quick little review on the ones that I have tried and kind of give you the pros and cons of each of these so that maybe if you are still using conventional toothpaste, this might motivate you to try some of these more natural non-toxic brands. So I'm sure most of you guys know about this brand already because it's been in my previous Wall at CA videos. But my first natural toothpaste that I tried was by the Green Beaver Company. It's their Frosty Mint, and I could have sworn this had a rating on Think Dirty, and I don't know what happened to it because I remember looking it up. I'm pretty sure it was either a zero or a three, but I know it was in the green. I have no idea what happened to it because Green Beaver is on the Think Dirty app. Just for some reason, they don't have their toothpaste, so I'm unsure as to what happened there. But this rated well. I used about four or five tubes from the green beaver company before trying other brands because i liked it so much this tube on well.ca is priced at five dollars and 79 cents for 75 milliliters they do have them in different flavors i only like using minty toothpastes they have green apple cinnamon they had spearmint which i did try the spearmint and i did not enjoy as much as the frosty mint so if you're just like me and you prefer mint get the Frosty Mint. Spearmint's not even close to how good the Frosty Mint is. Now, I do have to warn you, if you are used to using conventional toothpaste like Colgate, Crest, for example, and you transition to this tube, it's gonna be a little a harsh transition, I would have to say. Maybe not for you, but for me it definitely was. I wasn't used to it. The consistency of this toothpaste is watery in comparison to regular toothpaste. It definitely doesn't lather up in your mouth like a regular toothpaste does. It's just a watery paste that you kind of brush on. You do get the minty feeling, but you kind of have to get used to not expecting your mouth to foam up, which might off put you from trying this, but I swear after like the second or third use, I was fine. It was great. I actually thoroughly enjoyed this toothpaste and from using this toothpaste for so long, when I traveled, sometimes I would forget my toothpaste, go into someone's house and not everyone uses natural non-toxic brands. So, you know, I'm not going to not brush my teeth after using this and then having to use like a regular toothpaste. I thought that was more gross than transitioning to this because it was so foamy and so lathery that I, it was just like, it was gross. So, Yes, I am a forever uh, non-toxic, more natural toothpaste user because of this. The downfall with this is, although I love it, it's a Canadian brand, I feel like I fly through these tubes like they're nothing. So I do find myself buying these tubes a little bit more often than usual. Also, if you guys do buy these off of all.ca, try to check your local grocery stores. I know Sobeys carries this brand in their natural aisle and I believe Fortino's does as well. And sometimes the pricing there is like 25 50 cents cheaper than on well.ca so definitely check the prices to compare because sometimes well.ca pricing is a little bit more expensive than if you have it at a local store i always bring my phone whenever i shop just to compare because i am kind of like a deal finder i don't want to have to spend more money than i need to so this is definitely something that i would recommend you guys try once thoroughly enjoyed it canadian brand support the canadian companies i'm just wish these tubes were a little bit bigger. So the second brand that I got to try after Green Beaver was a toothpaste by Desert Essence. This toothpaste is the Natural Tea Tree Oil Whitening Plus Toothpaste in Cool Mint. It's fluoride free, SLS free, and gluten free. I enjoyed this toothpaste quite a bit. You can definitely taste the tea tree oil, so if you're not a fan of tea tree oil, this might not be for you, but I don't mind tea tree oil. Um, it's minty enough and it's pretty pleasant. It's thicker than the Green Beaver toothpaste and probably a better toothpaste to transition to if you are currently using a conventional toothpaste and you don't wanna use this one right away. This is probably good toothpaste to transition into because it's got a thicker consistency. It lathers a little bit, but not too much. Whereas the Green Beaver toothpaste does not lather at all. I like it. However, the downfall with this is that it is expensive. So this tube of toothpaste, which has 176 grams is $10 and 49 cents. That's probably the most I've ever spent on toothpaste. Would I say it's worth it? Mm, 
I didn't mind it because I wanted to review it for you guys and also I'm the only one who uses this toothpaste to begin with. The price of this I can't really fathom. And also on the Think Dirty app, this rates uh, three to four. So it's like pretty good. I like it, just not the price. So the third and final toothpaste that I was able to test out is the one that I'm currently using and it is by the Jason brand. Jason Sea Fresh Strengthening Deep Sea Spearmint and it's fluoride free, SLS free. So this toothpaste actually rates three on the Think Dirty app and it is priced at $6.49 for 170 grams. So these are both around the same amount of grams. This is 176 and this is 170. However, this is $10 and 49 cents and this is six dollars and 49 cents so you're saving four dollars by purchasing this toothpaste instead of this one i'm just saying anyways this toothpaste is the first one out of the three that i found is the closest to your conventional toothpaste in the sense of the experience it's definitely more on the foamy lathery side when you brush your teeth it's got the mint flavor it definitely leaves your breath fresh but I just feel like if you're trying to transition you know your husband your kids and they're just not digging the green beaver or the desert essence I would say get them to try the Jason brand because it is the closest to a conventional toothpaste experience it's foamy not as foamy but pretty freaking close definitely the mint flavor that I enjoy and I like and I've used this for quite a while and I feel like you don't need a lot, so a little bit goes a long way, which is nice. I feel like with a green beaver one, sometimes I kind of want to squeeze more on. This one, you don't need a lot at all. However, if a toothpaste, a natural non-toxic toothpaste, was any more foamier than this one, I probably wouldn't enjoy. Conventional toothpaste, I don't know how people use it. I feel like once you transition to a natural non-toxic brand and you go back, you just kind of get this reality of like, what was I doing? It's so gross. So that's kind of the phase that I'm in right now. Out of these three, uh, if I had to choose one, I feel like for the Jason one, definitely you get more bang for your buck. You're paying approximately a dollar more than the Green Beaver, but it lasts longer than the Green Beaver. It does the same thing as the Desert Essence, except the Desert Essence is $4 more, so you're saving $4 by buying this one. So I just feel like if I was gonna recommend you one and you've never tried natural toothpaste before, I would recommend this one to try first just because it would probably be an easier transition to this toothpaste, for example. If you guys have a recommendation for me for a toothpaste brand for me to try out, that's not the ones I've tried already, definitely uh, link it down below or get, tell me the brand because I'd be very interested to try it out. I hope you guys understand like my points of view on all these toothpastes. I like them all. I'm just gonna say that right now. I like all of these toothpaste, but as you guys know, there are some cons about these. If you guys have any questions that I didn't answer because I feel like I kind of was all over the map with these toothpaste, but if you guys have any specific questions, concerns, definitely leave them down below. I will try to answer them as soon as possible. If you found this video helpful, please give it a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel if you haven't already, and I will see you guys in my next one. Bye.